Hey, Jake with Van Age, and today is the day. We finally have our hands on the highly anticipated and highly speculated Canon EOS R3. This is Canon's most advanced mirrorless camera yet that is specifically engineered for mission critical performance at the highest level. Professional sports, wildlife, and fashion photographers will be chomping at the bit to take advantage of the R3's incredible feature set that includes a completely new autofocus system with eye control AF, 30 frames per second burst capture modes, and 6K raw video capture, just to name a few. We also have two new RF lenses to talk about today. First, we have a very affordably priced telephoto zoom, the RF 100 to 400 millimeter f5.6 to f8 IS USM, and a fantastic wide angle lens, the RF 16 millimeter f2.8 STM, that is a non fisheye and offers full frame coverage. But a little more on those uh, at the end of the video. For now, let's get back to the R3. Now at the heart of the R3 speed and performance is the new 24.1 megapixel backside illuminated stacked CMOS sensor that Canon says features extremely low rolling shutter distortion. That's especially important here since the camera places a huge emphasis on its electronic shutter. You can shoot in burst mode up to 30 frames per second with the electronic shutter, all while maintaining full autofocus and auto exposure, making it ideal for high speed capture. This is what 30 frames per second sounds like. Autofocus is one of the most powerful aspects of the R3, and we'll touch on that in just a bit. Now on the surface, you'll notice an integrated design bringing the R3 in line with Canon's other pro-grade bodies, such as the 1DX Mark III, providing additional battery storage and vertical grip orientation. The camera's in-body image stabilizer can provide up to an unbelievable eight stops of stabilization when paired with the proper Canon IS lenses, and combined with features such as a shutter with 600 steps of adjustment to counter flicker from almost any light source. It's an incredibly capable camera when it comes to sports settings in particular. The autofocus system of the R3 is designed for speed and accuracy, with a few features added in that make subject selection and tracking easier than ever. Built around the tried and true dual pixel autofocus, human and animal detection AF is back here. But Canon's also added a new vehicle detection mode that can isolate cars, motorcycles, and dirt bikes. If you shoot races or any kind of motorsports, this is a must have feature. When it comes to AF tracking, the R3 is incredibly fast and accurate, able to keep up with subjects thanks to its ultra fast processing. Three, two, one, go. Wow. The R3 performs AF readings 60 times per second with electronic shutter, provided your shutter speed is 1 over 1 25th or faster. Now traditionally, subject tracking requires that the user pick the initial tracking point themselves, not here. The R3 can now automatically determine the initial subject and track it, even if your AF point is dead center. Okay, so I want to show you a real-time example of the autofocus system here in the R3. So right now I have a single point autofocus and I have it set to the center. I'm gonna have Derek enter the frame and watch how it actually grabs and recognizes his face and tracks him regardless of the center point, uh, single point AF being in the middle of the frame. So Derek, go ahead and enter please. Immediately grabs him right there, I can see that. I have pressed the shutter, it turns to a blue square. That's how I know the camera knows that this is what it's focusing on and I press the shutter, boom. This frees you up to take super quick critical shots and ensure accurate AF tracking at a moment's notice. The second big addition here is the revival of Canon's Eye Control AF. It's exactly like it sounds. When you put your eye up to the EVF, the camera tracks your eye and determines what you want to focus on. In case you're wondering how this works, the camera only uses your eyesight for the initial focus point and stays there. So you don't need to worry about letting your eye wander to check composition or any other details. It does require you to calibrate the R3 to the user's eye, and the camera can store up to six calibrations. That blazing fast autofocus isn't just useful in its own right. The R3 can capture a continuous 30 frames per second using its electronic shutter, and what's better, it does so with full autofocus and exposure. 
And yes, that's even when shooting in 14-bit raw images. Sports and event type shooters are going to love this as it makes it almost impossible to miss key moments. The buffer on the R3 is pretty generous. If you do shoot in the full 30 frames per second raw mode, you can get about 150 consecutive frames. If you switch over to JPEG, you can shoot over 1,000 frames consecutively. Now, if you use the mechanical shutter or the first curtain electronic shutter, you drop down to 12 frames per second burst speed, but it can hit 1,000 consecutive raw frames. Okay, it's time to talk video. The video on the R3 is simply beautiful. You got a ton of 4K options here, but the top of the list is the 12-bit 6K raw video recorded internally. Raw video is as good as it gets and offers unparalleled image quality, not to mention color grading flexibility. For most uses though, the camera's 4K MP4 recording offers a lot in a much easier to edit format. For one, all varieties of the 4K video on the R3 are oversampled from 6K, except for the 120p. If you've used the EOS R5's HQ mode, this is similar, but it's the default here. 4K video can be shot up to 60 frames per second in both DCI and UHD resolutions, and there are not two, but three codec varieties, all I, IPB, and IPB Lite, which balances bitrate with playback performance. The MP4 modes shoot in either 8-bit 420 and H.264, or 10-bit 422 and HEVC. Interestingly, the 10-bit mode is engaged by switching to either C-Log3 or HDR PQ color profiles. This is a nice touch as it prevents accidentally shooting a log mode in 8-bit. Here's a big one. There are no recording limits whatsoever on the R3. In fact, the camera supports single files up to six hours long, provided you can store it. It can also record simultaneously to both card slots, though raw recording is only available on the CF Express slot. The HDMI port also supports 4K output for external recording. Now, we should look into heat management here. Recording 4K and 6K raw video is naturally going to produce a lot of heat. But first things first, at 4K 30p, even with all eye recording, there is no recording limit. The R3 has an auto shutdown setting that can be set to a standard temperature or a high temperature, giving you some flexibility for how you want the camera to manage its heat buildup. The most demanding format, 6K RAW, can last about 25 minutes in the standard mode, while the high temperature mode gives you up to 60 minutes. At 4K 60p in all I, high temperature mode will give you 60 plus minutes. So if we look at the body of the R3, it's got a completely magnesium alloy design that's weather sealed for rugged outdoor use. The integrated grip provides an appropriately pro appearance, but despite that, it's relatively light for its size at 1.6 pounds for the camera body. The camera overall measures 5.9 by 5.6 by 4.3. You've got a dual card slot with CF Express on one slot and SDXC on the other. Naturally, you'll want CF Express if you want the fastest shooting and recording rates. On the back side, the LCD screen is a very angle, making it the first pro-grade Canon body to feature a very angle touch screen. It's also the highest resolution screen of theirs at 4.15 million dots. Meanwhile, the EVF somehow manages to cram in 5.76 million dots, which provides you with crystal clear preview. On the side, you'll see an ethernet port, USB-C, micro HDMI, headphone jack, and PC for flash. Internally, the camera also features Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. Up top, you'll find the new multi-function accessory shoe, which has additional pins for both data and power. Canon's got a few accessories planned for this, including a digital microphone that's powered through the shoe, a smartphone link adapter, and the STE10 speed light transmitter. There will also be an adapter for the older ETTL lights that allows the camera to maintain its weather seal over the multi-function accessory shoe. Wrapping up the body, if we look at the grip, the battery for the R3 is the LPE19, which is the same one found on the 1DX Mark III. Okay, back to these two new RF lenses. First up, we have the RF 100-400mm f5.6 to f8 IS USM, which is the first affordably priced telephoto zoom in the RF system. It is very lightweight and compact given its zoom range. It weighs less than the EF 70-300 IS2 lens. It has up to six stops of coordinated IS with the R5, R6, and the new R3. 
Focusing down to the minimum focusing distance at 400 millimeters, your max magnification will be 0.41 times, and you can fill the frame with a subject the size of a credit card. The new USM motor is quick, quiet, and smooth, which is perfect for video shooting. It has the expected RF three ring operation, including the control ring. Needless to say, it would make a great addition to budding enthusiasts who are shooting with, say, the Canon R, or the Canon RP, who want to capture their kid's soccer game or need a great travel companion for those faraway landscapes or close-up details. The second lens is the super lightweight RF 16mm f2.8 STM that offers full-frame coverage and can focus down to less than 8 inches. This kind of lens opens up the door to ultra-wide image making, which is perfect for capturing dramatic landscapes or dramatic interior shots. It also has a quiet and smooth STM focus motor, and it's non-fisheye, which makes it perfect for vlogging because you can fit your entire face in the frame without having to hold your arm at a full arm's length. So Canon was nice enough to lend a few EOS R3s to some pro sports photographers to take to Tokyo 2020 Olympics last month, and they were completely blown away by the camera's performance and image quality. After our testing today, I can see why. This new backside illuminated stack CMOS sensor delivers the goods. 30 frames per second burst mode, fast and precise autofocus, eye control AF, up to eight stops of coordinated IS, and on top of that, you can still shoot 12-bit 6K raw video? I mean, need I say more? There is no moment or action that photographers and videographers cannot capture with Canon's new mirrorless camera, the EOS R3. But what do you think of the new R3? What would you capture with it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jake with B&H, just keep rolling. Watching a movie in stop motion.